Hey everyone, welcome back. With winter approaching, most of us are feeling the change in the air and in our budgets. As the temperatures drop, our heating bills tend to rise, and the cost of keeping our homes warm during those long winter nights can really add up. But what if I told you there's a way to ease that financial burden? Today, we're diving into a unique program that the state of Colorado is offering, winter relief payments. Hey, everyone, welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. These payments are designed to help residents cover essential costs, like utility bills and rent, as well as support local businesses by encouraging spending within our communities. Whether you're new to Colorado or have lived here for years, this is definitely something you'll want to know about, especially if the rising cost of living is hitting your wallet. So, what exactly are winter relief payments? In simple terms, these are small payments that the Colorado state government provides to low-income residents, people with disabilities, and seniors to help cover the extra expenses that winter brings. Think of it as a small economic boost that not only helps individuals, but also stimulates spending within local economies. The idea here is that when residents have a bit of extra cash, they can meet their needs and put money back into local businesses, keeping our economy vibrant and resilient. Now, why is this kind of support particularly important during winter? For one, utility costs tend to skyrocket as temperatures drop. Colorado, while famous for its stunning winter landscapes and ski destinations, also faces some of the country's highest winter heating bills, especially in mountain towns like Aspen and Boulder. For many families, these extra expenses can be tough to manage, and that's where these payments come in. If you've ever spent a winter here in Colorado, you know it's unique. The climate here can be unpredictable. You might have mild days where a t-shirt is enough. And then, bam, it's snowing and freezing cold. In some areas, the temperatures can even plummet to zero degrees Fahrenheit, making heating costs a necessity rather than a luxury. But the costs go beyond just heating. Think about it. When it's snowy and icy outside, people tend to drive less, shop online more, and even spend a little extra on winter supplies like heavy coats and snow boots. Colorado is a beautiful state, but winter comes with its own set of financial burdens that are hard to ignore. This is why the winter relief payments are so valuable. They're not just about helping people stay warm, they're about helping people thrive despite the challenges that winter brings. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty details who qualifies for these payments. The Colorado government has set specific criteria to ensure that help goes to those who truly need it. Let's break down these requirements. To qualify, your annual income should be less than $18,206 if you're a single taxpayer. For married couples filing jointly, the limit is $24,345. These thresholds are intentionally set to focus support on low-income households who are most likely to struggle with the rising costs. Next, you must have lived in Colorado for the entire year of 2023 and show a commitment to staying here as your permanent residence. The state wants to make sure that these funds stay within Colorado and benefit long-term residents. If you're over 65 or have a disability, you're eligible to apply. These groups often face unique challenges with higher healthcare costs and limited incomes, so targeting them makes sense. And finally, if you don't normally file taxes, you'll need to do so this year to be eligible. This requirement is in place to help the state verify incomes and ensure that funds are allocated properly. These criteria might seem strict, but they're designed to ensure that this support reaches as many residents as possible while keeping the focus on those with the greatest need. And there's more good news. Even if you're already receiving social security benefits or other government assistance, you can still apply. So, if you meet the qualifications, how do you actually apply? 
The process is straightforward, but let's break it down, step by step. First, you'll need documents proving your Colorado residency, your previous tax returns, and any documents that verify your age or disability status. The application process is open now, and you can apply either online through the Colorado Department of Economic Relief's website, or by mail if you prefer. This makes it accessible for everyone, even if you don't have internet access. Now here's a question we all have, when will you actually get the money? The state estimates that payments will be processed within 10 to 12 days after approval. So, if you apply today, you could be receiving funds within the next two weeks. Now that we've talked about the how, let's discuss the why why these funds can be a game changer for so many people. If you qualify for the maximum payment of $1,600, that can go a long way toward covering some major winter expenses. Just imagine that $1,600 could mean you don't have to choose between heating your home and buying groceries, or it could help cover a month's rent freeing up other funds to spend on the holidays or essentials. And for many families, that's a massive relief. These payments provide more than just financial help, they offer peace of mind. They ensure that people don't have to make those difficult decisions during one of the most expensive times of the year. Beyond helping individuals, these winter relief payments have a significant impact on Colorado's economy as a whole. When people have extra funds, they're more likely to spend them locally at shops, restaurants, and other businesses that keep our towns vibrant. These payments don't just go to individuals, they ripple out, supporting businesses and ensuring money circulates within our community. It's like the entire state benefits from this financial boost, which is why these programs are so crucial, especially in economically challenging times. All right, before we wrap up, a few important reminders. Applications for winter relief payments are open until December 25, so be sure to apply soon if you're eligible. Remember, you'll need your tax returns, proof of residency, and any documents proving age or disability. And even if you're already receiving Social Security or other assistance, this program is still available to you. It's all about making sure as many people as possible can keep warm and stable this winter. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more updates, and share this video with anyone in Colorado who could benefit. Here's to a warm, safe, and financially secure winter for everyone.